Welcome back to Real Takes, where we are all movie love all the time. I'm Ann Stott, and this is Meatball, and I'm doing a quick jump in today because I'm I'm busy. I'm in a play again, which opens next week, so I'm in rehearsals and running around. Uh, I am in Tiny Beautiful Things, based on the book by Cheryl Strayed at the Provincetown Theater with a lovely cast. Please come see it if you're in the area. I'll put all the information in the discussion below. Um, but I wanted to jump in and say happy birthday to Celine Shiama, one of my favorite filmmakers working today. Um, a true Scorpio filmmaker who's not afraid to look at all kinds of realities and truths that uh, many people won't take a look at head on. Oh, me ball agrees. Yes, me ball agrees. Rawr, scratches. He says, Celine Shiyama takes on scra kitty scratches in a way that no one else is willing to. So we already talked about Celine Shiyama when we talked about um, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, a film that came out a few years ago that I think is one of the more original, moving films of recent times. Uh, but... Celine Shiyama's fifth film came out this year. It's called Petite Maman. And it's a beautiful little film about a young girl who is uh, with her parents as they clean out her grandmother's house, who, you know, has she, her grandmother's just recently died. And sort of what she learns about herself and um, her mother through this time of grief about her grandmother. And it's so fascinating because it's a simple film and yet it has a sort of magical otherworldliness to it. And um, it's a deeply emotional film without ever being saccharine or sentimental. And it's a it's a true Scorpio film and then it goes deep into the emotional heart of the mother daughter connection and um, kind of explores elements of that, that I don't feel like I've seen. <clears throat> well, I certainly haven't seen explored this way in cinema. Um, again, a true Scorpio artist, Lean Shyama just kind of, laying bare emotional realities that um, very few other filmmakers take on in this way. And also coming at filmmaking from a, from a, from a structural place that's different. She's, she's, um, there's a great New Yorker profile on her from this year or last year that I'll link to where she talks about kind of letting go of you know, the conventional ideas of story and in particular conflict and that, you know, we don't have story without conflict. And I've talked about this before that especially as an actor, you know, there's a lot of dramatic teaching that says that every scene is a conflict and somebody wins and somebody loses. And, and she really rejects that idea completely and has been exploring like, how do you you know, what is story like if we don't have conflict? And what are we revealing when we let go of that one idea of how story is told? And she really is coming up with her own cinematic language and um, kind of emotional, relational language within film for telling stories. So we have to keep Meatball in the frame, right? Hi. What do you think, Meatball? Meatball thinks as long as I give him a lap, it's all fine. So anyway, much love and gratitude to Celine Shiyama. Please watch Petite Maman if you can. Um, and or any of Celine Shiyama's films, Girlhood, Tomboy, Water Lilies, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. If you haven't seen it yet, please see Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Petite Maman is a little, it's like this teeny little um, 
emotional explosion of a film. It's like 88 minutes or something. So um, check it out. Uh, happy birthday, Celine Shyama. Uh, let me know what you think of her films. Please hit like or subscribe. And I will be back next week. I can't promise Meatball will be back. He doesn't always cooperate with the filmmaking schedule. It's hard to get in touch with his agent. What can you do? You know, he's a popular guy. And, you know, he's busy finding just the right lap. And if I don't provide it for him, he's not going to come, even if it's time to shoot. So uh, I will see you next Wednesday.